Hey folks, today we're going to talk about jalapeno poppers and show two different ways to prepare them. Here are some of the ingredients that we're going to need. We're going to make a crispy one and one that's wrapped in bacon. First note that I'm wearing rubber gloves. If you don't, trust me, you're going to regret it. Now when you buy your jalapenos, try to buy the larger ones that you can because it's going to make it a lot easier to put the filling in later. Start by just snapping off the stems. No, I'm not that fast. I just sped up the video. And next, slice them down the middle. Next, cut out the seeds and the veins inside the jalapeno. Most people think that the capsaicin or where the heat comes from is in the seeds. Most of it is actually in the vein. So if you want some heat, be sure to leave the vein. I personally don't. I like the flavor, not the heat. So I'm careful to cut as much of the vein off as possible. Now go ahead and give those a good rinse and set them aside. Now we're going to brown one pound of sausage in our favorite pan. Now keep stirring, chopping it up until there's no brown left. Now when the sausage is done, go ahead and kill the heat and we're going to add one block of cream cheese. The residual heat in the pan will be enough to melt it. Now go ahead and gently work in your cream cheese. It will take a few minutes for it to melt. At this point, you can add any number of herbs or spices that you like. I'm going to chop up some chives and just cut those directly into the pan. The chives balance out the cream cheese really well. Now give that a good stir. Now stir in your cheese. I prefer sharp cheddar. Don't worry about that bit that fell out. I threw it back in when nobody was looking. Now go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. On a sheet pan, go ahead and spread out your jalapenos. Next, we're going to add the filling, and this is where you'll see the larger jalapenos are much easier to work with. Fun jalapeno fact, they are the only chili that has ever left the planet Earth. In the 1980s, the space shuttle Columbia took them up. Now go ahead and add about a tablespoon of filling to each jalapeno.
Next, I'm going to add the panko breadcrumbs and just sprinkle those on. Of course, the panko breadcrumbs are to give it a nice crunch. Panko breadcrumbs are made by adding a layer of dough onto a screen mash, baking it, and then scraping off the baked crumbs. It's very different than just ground up breadcrumbs. They're much lighter and much crispier. They give a great texture. All right, next we're going to attempt to wrap a few of these with bacon. It's not as easy as it looks, but hey, it's bacon. If you get it on there, it's going to be good. Now go ahead and throw those in the oven. And 20 minutes later, enjoy. 